Taking the right amount of sand out of a bunker is very much like the Goldilocks principle. Too much, too little, or just right. Hopefully we can start off with, with just right. That's a nice bit of sand underneath the ball, throws the ball out onto the green, and it runs down towards the flag. Too little sand, I'm gonna hit the top of the golf ball. If I hit very extremely onto the top of the ball, the ball barely moves. If I thin the ball, it might shoot up and hit the lip of the bunker. If there isn't a lip, that ball might shoot across the other side of the green, and that's too little sand, too thin, and the ball goes too far. And then this last one is gonna to be too much sand. So I hit too much sand, I didn't follow through enough, and the ball just fats onto the lip of the bunker and comes back down. So the Goldilocks principle, not too much, not too little, just the perfect amount of sand. If we look at it from this side, the perfect amount of sand for most bunkers would be around about two inches. So if I can mark that area there, two inches behind the golf ball, that's really where the club should enter the sand. If I'm making swings and I'm hitting too far back, there's too much sand here, there's not enough energy from the golf club getting to the ball, the ball won't clear out of the bunker. And if I'm making swings and taking no sand at all, again, I'm going to be hitting the top half of the ball, it's not going to be flying very nicely very far at all. If I could set up in a good position, make a nice swing and hit into the line, then that's going to be splashing the ball out of the bunker and playing some nice bunker shots because I'm entering the line here. So that's the right amount of sand to take. Now, if you're in really soft sand, you might feel that that's a bit too much. And if you're not in very uh, soft sand at all, it's quite hard and compact, you might get a little bit nearer to the ball. But next time you go to the practice ground, find yourself in the sand, draw that line two inches behind the ball, try and practice splashing out through that line, get a good feel for a standard bunker shot by hitting the line, then work on taking more sand in hard ground and less sand in, in, in soft ground and see how that affects how you play your bunker shots nicely.